بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إخواني وأخواتي أبناء شعب الإمارات وأبناء الأمة العربية والإسلامية السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته خلال الساعات القادمة يصل مسبار الأمل لكوكب المريخ ويشكون التحدي الأكبر هو الدخول لمدار المريخ 50% من البعثات البشرية التي حاولت قبلنا لم تستطيع أن تدخل المدار ولكن نقول حتى أن لم ندخل المدار فقد دخلنا التاريخ هذا أبعد نقطة في الكون يصلها العرب عبر تاريخهم UAE's vision is to establish the first inhabitable human settlement on Mars by 2117, where Mohammed Bar Rashid Space Center is leading the project. Mars is a target for exploration because it's the closest planet to the Earth in our solar system. But the main reasons to explore the red planet are understanding the surface, and the planet's evolution and preparing for future human exploration. In addition, for us to learn how to develop life in different conditions that the ones currently encountered on Earth, evidence suggests that Mars was once full of water, warmer, and had a thicker atmosphere, offering a potential habitable environment. While life arose and evolved on Earth, Mars experienced serious climate change. To survive on Mars, humans will need self-sustaining water, food, and oxygen. In this context, our project focuses on producing water and supply and nutrient sources of food and energy for the human body. Glucose being sugar, the ideal compound to provide such energy or to be further converted into other important high-valued chemicals to be used in the red plant, such as food, medicine, vitamins, and even construction materials. Therefore, a glucose production process will take place using the major component of the Mars atmosphere, which is carbon dioxide, combining it with hydrogen. Carbon dioxide will be captured from the Mars atmosphere and conditioned to be used in the reactor, while hydrogen will be obtained from a water splitting process within the Mars settlement. At this time in indicate the water splitting breaks uh, into the basic molecule constituents oxygen, hydrogen, and hydrogen needed in our uh, glucose production. Hence, our system is mimic uh, photosynthesis process using uh, enzymatic paste to, uh, pathways to obtain glucose and water with high purity. The sugar source for a human settlement in Mars will be provided using our system. In addition, produced water will use Further water uh, splitting for more hydro hydrogen and oxygen for drinking, exchanging benefit with other lab in the settlement. And here's the way to achieve the dream. First, after obtaining both CO2 and H2, we need to compress and condition both streams in order to achieve the optimal glucose production when mixing them in the heart of our plant, which is a packed bed reactor. This reactor includes a catalyst operated by the Robisco enzymes, which plays a major role in carbon dioxide fixation reduction. As the catalyst job is to increase the reaction efficiency and obtained yield, we took into consideration the reaction temperature, obtaining an optimal range between 55-65 Celsius to avoid denaturation of the enzyme. Denaturation means that the molecule will lose its structure, configuration, and properties, and will not be longer able to carry out its function. The reactor will be built on the Earth, then it will be shipped to Mars. The system has been designed to produce 1,754 kg of glucose per hour and almost 3 kg of water per hour. As engineers, we studied all aspects of the project, including possible hazards that could affect the plant, and we took them into consideration to proceed. To make this happen, we will need the following requirements. Human resources, which includes teams that will be working on different levels, such as operations and support level. In addition, financial support to build the whole process. Also, academic support will be needed for further testing and experimenting. As His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid once said, 
The joy of life is to do a job that no one has ever done it before you and which other have not expected. Thus, in line with this, we are trying to participate in UAE's vision to Mars with our unique projects.